Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Dave from Apple Unlimited and recently I got a new iMac. Uh, I do have an unboxing video coming up probably tomorrow, uh, but I have a more pressing issue that is uh, time sensitive. So I wanted to go ahead and push this out first. Uh, basically, um, on November 3rd, Universal Audio released version 9 of their software uh, for the Apollos. I have an Apollo Twin right here. Uh, software update made Sierra compatible with it. Uh, so because of that, I decided to stay on Sierra for my new iMac and run from there. Uh, the first day it worked just fine. The second day it crashed and would not work at all. Um, so this video is for you. If you have the same problem, uh, here's a, a fix that does work. I want to get into it. Uh, I wanted to uh, give a good shout out to my friend Spanky. Uh, he works for Universal Audio. And he right away replied with an answer. Um, it did work and he was very happy to help, which is why I love the audio community. Uh, we're always happy to help each other. And this video is for you to help you out, to get it working again. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, I want to show you that uh, it is working. All right, it does work. Um, it works with Pro Tools, Final Cut Pro works, um, YouTube, everything works just fine. And what actually caused it to crash, stop working, was Reason. Uh, now I have Reason 8, it's the newest, the, the newest 8 before 9 came out, so it's 8.2.3. Uh, so I'm going to show you that opening reason uh, is the reason for the crash and it's very strange I'm not sure why it's happening uh, if you go to preferences and then audio uh, it does recognize the universal audio right here uh, but if I try to if I try to open a demo song uh, nothing I get nothing um, you can see it's trying to play, but it's not playing. And from there, if I quit Reason and go back, nothing's going to happen. I am using the Universal Audio Apollo as my output speakers, but it has stopped working. Uh, and this is a little bug, and I'm sure Universal Audio will patch it uh, pretty quick. Uh, but in the meantime, this is no longer working. So here's the fix for you. What you're gonna wanna do is go to Finder, hold down Option, and when you do that, again. here's what you're gonna wanna do. Go to Finder, on the top where it says Go, go there, hold down Option, and doing that, you're gonna get Library, where it wasn't there before, now it is, that's where you go. Uh, scroll down to Preferences. Now there's going to be four. There's going to be four files you have to delete. Uh, you also want to scroll down to where the folder says Universal Audio. Go ahead and delete that also, uh, and then empty the recycle bin. So that's all gone. Uh, once that is all gone. If you reinstall version 9, so under downloads, here it is, all I have to do is reinstall it. And once that installs, it's going to restart the computer. Uh, from there, it'll work just fine. Um, I'm not sure why a reason causes this. I'm going to show you the specs to my computer, just so you can see it right there. Okay, so once it finishes installing, it's going to restart, and from there, it will work just fine. Um, so this video is not a fix on how to get Reason to work with it, but it's once Reason crashes it, how to fix it to where it will work with everything else. Um, I hope this video has helped you. Uh, I was very grateful to figure out the fix. Um, I've had no problems with it, as long as I don't use Reason. Uh, I know it's kind of it's kind of sucks, but... I'm okay not using Reason until it's fixed. Mm -hmm.
it does work again. So I hope this video has helped you. Uh, please feel free to share it amongst your friends. Uh, hopefully it will help them if they're having trouble with it. Uh, there may be other programs besides Reason that causes this, I'm not sure. Uh, so far that's the only one that I've found. Uh, and Reason 9 probably is fine to use. I'm not sure, but I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. This is Dave from Apple Unlimited, and we'll see you soon. I was recording the screen, and I restarted it. Whoops.